Hello, my name is Bill Haley, and this is part of my three-minute introduction series into Haley 2024, the movement's government reform ideas. This one's going to be on, should the government mandate? So, so a lot to go over on this. I only gave myself three minutes on this to do a quick introduction. So let's go through it. The conservative mantra is that government should not be able to mandate that citizens buy anything. Well, are they living up to that? They're, they're really not. Citizens are now mandated to buy police services, but through government control. They're mandated to buy uh, military services, but through government and politician control. They're mandated to um, buy um, road services, but through government control. They're mandated to have um, retirement funding, but under government control. Let's get into it real, real quick. I believe in a citizen model of citizen mo, citizen ownership model of government. So as a citizen responsibility in this um, citizen ownership model of government, it says that everybody within this governing jurisdiction must take on certain responsibilities. They must fight uh, and contribute towards fighting foreign foes. They must contribute towards law enforcement and the rule of law. They must not become a. Uh, they must. They must take reasonable steps not to become a burden to society. Reasonable steps. They must help the poor. Um, and I, I'm, I'm proposing a charity system for versus welfare. So, we are already uh, mandated through the for current government system. And if any Republican wants to um, debate this, ask: Are we currently mandated to buy welfare? Are we currently mandated to buy education? Are we currently mandated to buy the services of regulations? Well, the answer is yes, unless Republicans um, want to put proposals out and budgets out without the mandates for all these things, which means you don't spend anything, the government budget goes down to zero, then we can't have the, ma the mantra that government should not be able to mandate that citizens buy anything. I'm just saying that the mandate should be that people, individuals, buy it on their own within the free enterprise system. is a lot better than government taxing us, which means mandating that we buy it through government control, through politicians and bureaucrat control. So let's go over this. The social social safety net, welfare. We get rid of that, we go to a mandate that people buy, um, contribute towards a charitable system. Full video on that. The roads, there's no mandate in this, but if you wanna go from one place to another, if you wanna use a road, you pay for the roads that you use. Government's no longer gonna be taxing for that. I have a whole video on that. The police. Government's currently um, mandating that we buy police through government control. I'm just saying that we're going to uh, change that to you pick your gov your police contract, who what police company you want to contract with for your uh, protection of police protection, for your the service of police protection. The military, that's still going to be under government. We, we have a tax for that. We have a go dramatically into the free enterprise system for the military, but there's a system for that. Look at that video. Regulations, we currently have government um, mandating that we buy regulations through government control. We're gonna go to a competitive regulatory agencies. Um, so that yeah, being be more competitive. Education, we're gonna get rid of the mandate that government currently has that we pay for um, education through government control, that you have to um, educate your children. There's a mandate that you educate your children but we have a lot more options, even totally free market options, private schools and the like. Social security, we currently have a um, mandate that we save for our retirement under government um, control. I'm just saying we have a mandate, we switch to a mandate that you have a minimum rating on paying for your own retirement so you do not become a burden on society. And then there's also other requirements not to become a burden on society by taking reasonable steps not to become a burden on society by, let's say, health insurance, catastrophic care, and the like. Um, life insurance if you have um, dependent children and the like. So, a quick video just showing should we mandate and how we should look at that. And until the next video.